Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and yeah, so as some of you guys know, I've got some C Sharp tutorials posted up on YouTube, but I thought it was about time that I posted up a little PHP tutorial series just like I did with C Sharp, except I'm hopefully going to be doing a lot better job at it and whatnot. So, first of all, we need to start by setting up your developer environments. Um, I don't know how far you guys are, how advanced you are, so I'm just going to assume that you're complete utter noobs and whatnot. So what you want to do is you want to open up Google and type in XAMP, and that's with two P's, right? You guys can see that. And then I'm just going to go here. It's apachefriends.org slash en slash xamp.html. And then I'm going to select Windows. You guys can select Linux, Mac, whatever you want to use to develop but uh, I'd suggest Windows for the most part. Um, there are some uh, complications between developing on Windows and um, develop, you know, developing on Windows for Linux servers and whatnot, but um, that really only uh, happens when you get advanced. So you're just going to scroll down to this little download section and I'm going to select zip. You guys can choose install or whatnot, but I think zip is probably the best or um, actually that 7-zip uh, is a lot smaller so I'm just gonna click that and I'm gonna take that link because the downloads gonna be really slow else okay there it goes so something you should be aware of is this is obviously meant for developing um, you don't want to be using this as a dedicated server. It is rather slow for um, server and it's pretty insecure and whatnot. But it is very easy to use, very user friendly. So it should, you know, help you with developing. So it's going, going, going. Do, do. Okay, so there we go. We got our nice little 7z whatever file. You're going to need to use um, the 7z software or just go with WinRAR. It's probably much better just to have one program. So I'm just going to paste this. And as you can see, I already have the Apache server set up here. So, but I'm going to do it this way. So it's going to extract. Um, I'm just going to pause this while it extracts. Alright, so that took a little while to set up there, so you're going to get this folder here called XAMP inside. Um, you probably could have just selected um, Extract here, so I'm just going to um, move this up. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause it again while it moves it. Okay, there we go. So now you've got a nice little folder on your C drive, and it's called XAMP, and then you just want to open it up. <coughs> Then you're going to get a whole bunch of files inside of them. No duh. So we have um, apache start.bat that's going to start it, that's going to stop it, um, that's going to start, etc. Um, the main two ones that you really need to uh, worry about, or that you're probably only ever going to be using, is apache start and apache er, and uh, mysql starts. Um, you also have the uh, xamp start.exe and your xamp control, and then your services and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this readme text, see if I missed anything, attention, blah blah blah. So here you can get some uh, installation instructions and whatnot. So let's see, hmm, file zip, yep, yep, okay. So I'm going to put that down. Now before starting, um, I thought I should bring this up. You hopefully know about ports. So a uh, common program that gets in the way is Skype. So what you want to do is you want to go to Options, go to Advanced, uh, go to Connections, and then make sure you disable this check so, um, <coughs> so that it uh, doesn't use port 80. Otherwise, it's going to really interfere with uh, the server because, well, guess what the default port is. And then uh, if you don't have a port here, you want to put something in. So I'm just going to save that, yaddy yaddy, and then it tells you to restart Skype. Anyways, um, I'm going to continue, continue on here, and uh, let's say you didn't want to do that, you wanted to leave Skype how it is, or what not, so what you want to do is you want to go to Apache, config, and we're just going to change the port that it starts up with. So um, httpd.config, or conf, right? 
Yep, yeah. And then you're going to want to find the listen here. And you have a lot of text here, obviously just from a quick look. Um, the the sign there. Server roots. Oh, I hope that's not. It doesn't look very promising. Maybe you guys should use it in setup instead. So um, change this to 880 here. Ports. Listen 880 instead of 80. That way it won't interfere with anything. And then um, what you want to do is want to go ahead and open up the patchy start. And oh, come on. So it says Apache couldn't be started. Could not bind to 430. Hmm. That means something's using it. So, crap. I'm just going to pause this quickly. Okay, well, Skype was interfering with that because I didn't restart it. But um, anyways, if you don't want it to use port uh, 443 or whatever, just get rid of the mod SSL, right? And you get rid of HTTPS on your server. So just get rid of that. And then what you want to do is you want to go to Apache Start. And it's really sort of confusing how it is, how it says Apache 2 is starting dot 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 and doesn't really say when it started. But um, if it just stays like that, then it's working. So then what you want to do is you want to go localhost 8080, uh, 8 right, with the um, semicolon that determines the port in your browser, or if you just have it set on default, you can just do it that way. So as you can see, it doesn't work because I have it on 800. Ugh, 80, uh, 8080, so anyways, I'm going to select English, and it says congratulations, you have successfully installed XAMPP on this system, blah, blah, blah. And you can go PHP info, and as you can see, um, a large portion, I'm pretty sure almost all of the uh, PHP extensions are enabled. So that's another reason why you want to use XAM so it's all easy and shit. So anyways, um, just go straight off to security, and it's going to load. So it can tell, it just tells you um, everything. XAMP, blah 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 blah. So everyone can see it. My SQL admin has no. Oh well, it should have said it's unsecure. I must have um, my SQL open right now. So I'm just gonna pause this while I close. Okay, there we go. So I just stopped uh, my uh, default my SQL thing. So uh, yeah. So as you can see, we don't even have it on right now. So my SQL starts. And yeti yeti, I'm pretty sure it started now. <laughs> it's the same with oh, there it is, unblock. So I'm gonna refresh this again, and it should say unsecure. Ta-da! So then you just all you gotta do is follow these instructions here or whatnot. So, huh? You should set a password. So I'm gonna open up here, and. Uh, touch your browser example. Yeti, yeti. Okay, that doesn't really help. Okay, here we are. Simple. So you just gotta click that little link here to fix problems. I guess I should have read that portion. Um, I'm going to first open up Notepad so I can create a password. I'm going to call this PHP dev pass or whatever right so I'm just gonna label this mysql well pass word and if you really want I mean it's always going to be a root for the super user or whatever so username root okay um, you want to use HTTP and safe plane, no, you don't want to do that because you're writing it down in Notepad. So, password change, and it should have changed it. Um, XAMP directory pr uh, protection, that's a good one. Um, 
username. Let's go with hot noob xamp password. Let's just go with hn password or whatever. Or just hot noob. Let's just go with hot noob. It's easier. And you guys should choose uh, more difficult passwords than these ones, right? So then it's going to prompt you, and then you're just going to type in your username and password that you just entered, and that will just let you access XAMP and whatnot. Okay, then we're just going to go back to security. And, oh, PHP is not running in safe mode. Okay, you really don't want to run it in safe mode. It really limits what you can do, so, yeah. Um, FTP server is not running. Yeah, we don't need any of those, so we're all secure. Ta-da! And here's a list of ports if you need them, default ports. So that's pretty much it. Now you're ready for developing PHP um, if you want to test it. Um, you should just make a file. Ah, screw it. You can test it in the next tutorial. So anyways, now you got XAMPP all set up and you can start developing on PHP. So yeah, this is the end of the first tutorial. I promise you the next tutorial will not be like 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So anyways, this is Hot Noob. You guys can come check out my blog at hotnoob.com and I'll see you guys later.